It could be the sweetest world record ever broken, and students from Niagara College's events management program are seeking 1,000 people to help make it happen. So today we have the world's largest dessert party. It's an attempt to break the Guinness World Record. So in order to break the record, we need 1,000 participants and over 5,000 desserts. And the way that the record works is within 15 minutes of being inside, each person has to have the opportunity to have three different desserts within that 15 minutes. They don't actually have to eat them, they just have to be available. Are all the desserts here made by the students? Um, no, we actually have a few different sponsors. Um, some of the main sponsors, we do have the culinary program providing a bunch of desserts. We have some desserts from Falls View Casino. We have Above and Beyond Cupcakes. We have Pig Out and many more. <laughs> Tell me a bit about today's charity. So the Many Hands Project, it's a student-driven renovation project, and each year the event management students plan and execute five different events. With the money raised from these events, it goes towards the construction students who then renovate a nonprofit organization within Niagara. It looks like there's a lot of people here today. Do you feel confident that you'll break the record? I do. We've actually sold a thousand tickets, so we're on our way. <laughs> Dr. Dan, what a great event for Niagara College. In your official capacity, are you here to sample the desserts and make sure they're up to your standards? Absolutely. I purchased a ticket along with, I think, about a thousand other people to participate in the world's largest dessert party. Our goal here today is to break the Guinness uh, World Book of Records for the largest party uh, in, in the world. The last one, they had 794 people at an ice cream dessert party. Here we have amazing desserts from sponsors, Willow Bakeries, the college, the casino, a whole group of people that have come forward as sponsors. This is part of a special events management program, and what they're doing is raising funds to support nonprofit corporations and this year it's Strive Niagara. So it's a win-win situation. We have great opportunities to, for students to apply their learning in special events, to have fun, uh, and to ta tell the world that Niagara College can break a lot of records and hopefully today we'll uh, break the world's best dessert party in the world. Yes, so um, the mayor is actually one of our independent witnesses. We need two independent witnesses as part of breaking the record, so it's his job to actually count people as they walk in. So he has a pretty important job. <laughs> I'm uh, one of the officials to do the count, so they need people to officially do the count. We've counted uh, 910 at the door coming through, and that, that's my function, to officiate. <laughs> the Niagara College has unofficially, officially, broken the Guinness World Record for the largest dessert party here in Niagara-on-the-Lake on April 1st, 2015. Congratulations, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. I thought I'd help the mayor out by counting people for him. One, two, three. Uh, seven. I think the mayor's got it. We've been preparing for this probably since um, October when the students of the event management program decided that they wanted to take on this big logistical experience. So we've been planning marketing sponsorship, the organization since probably the fall. I know these are your students putting on this event. You must be very proud. I'm I'm over the top proud. Um, it's been a it's been a long road, but we wanted to do something that engaged the students, the community, and we think we did it. Christine, it's not official yet, but do you think you broke the record? I believe, according to our two official witnesses today, that we have unofficially officially broken the world record for the largest dessert party. So in order for the record to officially be broken, we actually have a bunch of different photos and rules that we have to pass. So we have to actually send tons of documentation to the Guinness World Records, and they are the ones who de actually determine whether or not the record is broken. So Reveal Day is actually taking place on April 18th. It's going to be at Strive Niagara, which is the nonprofit organization that we're renovating. It's uh, located in Welland. It's going to be a family-friendly event. It's a carnival themed. So the way the event works is it's a big celebration to reveal all the renovations that have taken place on the facility. And it's going to be just a few hours to kind of mark the end of the year and the success of everything we've done. And if you want more information, you can go to www.niagaracollege.ca slash manyhands.
Although the results aren't official, I have no doubt Niagara College has broken the record. We just have to wait for the official announcement. For more information on Reveal Day, visit Niagara College's website. In Niagara on the Lake, for The Source, I'm Sarah Buffett.